Welcome to Dark Horizon Creations. I'm Mike. This time we're taking a look at the Flash Ultimate Batwing playset by Spin Master. Now if you haven't already, please follow, like, and subscribe to my social media accounts on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Don't forget to hit that bell icon so you get a notification of when I post new content. This has been one of the most sought after toys in my collection. This is the ultimate Batwing playset from the new Flash live action movie. Now, if you're an adult collector, you recall that in 1989, we got a Batwing from the original Batman live action movie, but nothing on this scale or this nice. Spin Master has taken this toy to an entirely different level. There's a lot of attention to detail on this toy along with action and play features, and it also includes the two action figures that you see, the Flash and Batman in his new armored bat suit. On the back of the packaging, you have your obligatory product shots that show the toy in an action sequence with both of the action figures. And here we have the ultimate Batwing outside of the packaging. And I must say, I am really impressed with this toy. It is super nice. Of course, the scale of this version is much smaller than the McFarlane gold label Batwing, but it's designed to be smaller. And in all honesty, if Batman actually had a Batwing like this, he would want something with a small wingspan so that it could maneuver between buildings. So before we take a look at the Batwing, let's talk about the two action figures that are included. First and foremost, let's take a look at the Flash. And this is a different version of the Flash action figure that is included with the Batmobile. He has on a different suit. A lot of nice molded detail there, nice paint apps. His head will swivel left to right. Forward and lateral movement in the shoulder. Bicep rotation, single jointed elbow, and elbow swivel, no waist swivel, forward and lateral movement at the thigh, thigh rotation, lower leg rotation, single jointed knee. And that's it for articulation on this figure. And of course, we have the Batman. And this, again, is a different figure than that one that is included with the Batmobile. This is the new armored bat suit. Really, really nice. I do like this one. Looks really cool. Still very reminiscent of the Keaton Batman from the 1989 movie. As far as articulation, head is on a swivel, forward and lateral movement there at the shoulder, bicep rotation. Single jointed elbow, elbow rotation. No waist swivel. Forward and lateral movement in the thigh, thigh rotation. Single jointed knee and lower leg rotation, just like the Flash. Really cool paint apps on this figure. It looks like it has maybe a gloss clear coat to it. It looks really, really nice all the way around. And now, the centerpiece of this collection, the Batwing itself. And it's readily apparent that the designers put a lot of care into the design and manufacture of this toy. It is really, really nice. So starting up front, you've got the forward mandibles here. And going back, you've got your molded in jet intakes here. You've got your canopy here, which you can pop open and the canopy itself is just a bare canopy it does have a molded seat in it there's no control panel or anything like that but you can take batman and seat him inside the canopy and close it where he can fly the bat wing and you can see there's some nice panel lines running along the tops of the wings. You've got these flaps, which I presume are for the fans on the bottom of the wing. 
the vertical stabilizers, your antenna. And one of the things I want to point out about this Batwing, one of the reasons I like this one and prefer this one over the McFarland version is this one does not have any guns on it. All the way around is just a really nice toy. A lot of molded detail. On the bottom of the bat wing, you can see the molded in fans for the vertical hover feature, as well as the retractable landing gear. And the landing gear on this one is positioned much further out than it is on the McFarlane. I think it's actually positioned in here on the inside of the airframe on that one. On this one, it's out here. So I don't know which one is screen accurate. This landing gear does not roll. It's just simply molded plastic. But still a great additional feature, something they didn't have to include, but they did. Overall, this is a really nice playset and toy. If you're a collector or fan, you definitely want to pick one of these up and add it to your collection. I guarantee you the value on this is going to exponentially increase over time. Certainly not as large as the McFarlane Gold Label Batwing, but perfect for the four inch scale action figures as well as for use in a diorama or toy photography. There you have the Flash Ultimate Batwing playset by Spin Master.